Hi, I'm Lisa Martin with Pampered Chef, and welcome to my keto kitchen. Um, what I had done to, is I had bought some uh, raspberries. They had a special on them, and I, I don't know what the deal is, but they are so sweet this year. So I bought a double pack, and I don't want them to go bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a keto um, dump cake, and it's so, so easy, and it's it'll be, it, it's awesome but what I'm gonna do is I took I've drained them and washed them and put them in this colander this mesh colander stainless steel it comes in a set of three and that's the smallest one and what I did is I just washed them put them in a bag baggy and then I put some sugar in them sweetener erythritol and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna press down on them okay you can watch me just press down on them to kind of squeeze them and get them in their own juices. Okay. So while we're talking, I'm going to be squeezing them so that they can get in their own. And as you can see, I can get they're getting in their own juices. Okay. And I'm going to use our small rectangular stone, which I love. This is amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stick of butter and I'm going to butter it. Okay, I've made this with blueberries. I haven't made it with raspberries yet, but it is so amazing with blueberries even. I mean, I have, um, you will absolutely love it. With it getting to be the warmer weather, you want more and more fruits and vegetables, the vegetables that we can have and the fruits that we can have. Okay, so what I've done is I've squeezed it a little bit. Alrighty. And you can watch me as I go. Okay, I'm just squeezing it and then, like I say I'm going to butter it again but this is the easiest keto dump cake you have ever made. I mean it is just so so simple and you can't go wrong with it. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take our fruit and just take it out of the baggie. pan over here and I'm just going to dump the contents of this in this. Just dump it in there. Just any old way it goes. Okay. And I'm going to take our spatula and I'm going to just kind of go across. And you can see that it added quite a bit of juice there. And I had some erythritol in there. So therefore it doesn't, it's no, it got no sugar in it. I like to use erythritol and monk fruit. Okay. When I'm baking, I use erythritol a lot because it's cheaper than the monk fruit is. Okay. All right. Now what I'm going to do is this is my almond flour in here. Okay. So I'm just going to take some almond flour and make sure it's, you know, and I'm just going to start pouring it on the top. So you can watch me pour it on the top. Okay. And this will like give you a crust, kind of like a crust. Alright, this is just almond flour that you buy at the store. You can use coconut flour. And as you can see, it's starting to soup. It's starting to seep in. Okay, let's use that. I don't usually, I think I used like two maybe a half a cup of it. Um, and then this is erythritol, so I'm gonna put some of that on top of it. Okay, and that I'm just gonna sprinkle on with my hands like this. Because I've already put sugar in the raspberries, although the raspberries are very, very sweet and flavorful. But this is so good. And it kinda just gives you a different. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put that over there. Um, this goes in an oven of 350 degrees and it goes in there for about 30 minutes. You'll have to check about 30 minutes and you'll see if the top is done or not. And that's it. Three items is all it is. It's amazing. Um, please give me a thumbs up, like my videos, share them. 
but anytime that you see fruit on sale like raspberries blackberries blueberries and strawberries that we can eat, grab them up we can always find something for them to do with them but what this is good for is you can make it and then um, eat it hot and heat it up in the microwave. It's really, really good microwavable. So, so I just wanted to get in here real quick before the day ended and show you what to do with um, extra fruit that you might have hanging around and you don't know what to do with. Well, we can make you can make it into a dump cake. So this is just what I call a raspberry dump cake is all I do with it. And it's amazing. You will absolutely love it. I did the blueberry and it was so, so good. So I'm gonna put it in the 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. And that's all. Easy peasy, that's what I like. <laughs> Three ingredients is all you need. So if you would please like my videos, give me a thumbs up, share them and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you and have a wonderful day. <laughs>